It's called Snapchat, and it lets users send photos that vanish in a matter of seconds. The FBI says pedophiles are using the technology to lure young victims. Last year, 13-year-old Megan Meyer hanged herself after getting emails from a boy she thought had jilted her. He was 30 years old and living in California. The two chatted for a month before he flew across the country to meet her down the street. Fears of stalking, kidnapping, and even worse on many people's minds. Rethinking what's posted on your profile may not be a bad idea. 12-year-old Rebecca Sedwick, a Central Florida girl who for more than a year was terrorized by cyber bully. And on September 9th of this year, the 12-year-old climbed a platform at an abandoned cement plant and jumped to her death. The FBI is warning that pedophiles are instructing underage victims to download the Snapchat app in order to exchange explicit photos. Is there any supervision in those arcades? If you've got video arcades where kids spend hours playing video games. There has been much debate about whether or not cell phones are dangerous. I mean, how would you like to have a teenage daughter go out on a date with someone who's just watched or played? three hours of that game. Well, a number of countries have recommended that children not use cell phones. It's mm. illegal to sell a cell phone in Bangalore, India to a child under the age of 16. Well, uh, if you talk to the average teenager of today and you ask them what it is about rock and roll music that they like, and they'll, the first thing they'll say is the beat, 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 the beat.